Kita tak ada anak emas Semua anak emas <laughs> Dalam atlet-atlet atlet kita Semua kita bagi allow Sama RM3,000 untuk setiap atlet yang masuk Sokongan services ISN semua kita bagi Untuk pastikan mereka ada peluang untuk berjaya Untuk Lizija, maybe uh, tadi Datuk Stuart dah komen uh, hmm. Tapi mungkin boleh ulangi lah perjumpaan dengan coach uh, Thank you uh, the, I think the, the to ensure that Zija is not out of the, the the benchmark right? So maybe based on performance And based on it is an announcement There is question marks But in terms of where he is, in terms of ranking, he is not out of the list. Yeah, so that's one. Second is, we've already communicated, uh, Datuk Lee uh, directly to the coach and myself directly to Lizija to ensure that when the coach is down at the end of June, we'll have a meeting with him. Uh, we believe that uh, it's very important for us to have a meeting with the coach and with the individual as well to ensure what we know what the recovery plans are. Uh, we know also that the competitions uh, that are ongoing now will be a, probably a rest period as well for many shuttlers in the region. So we believe that he will come back uh, based on a timeline that is comfortable to him and the coach. But at the end of June or early uh, July, we will have that meeting with, with both the coach and the athlete and we will ensure that we report this back to uh, DG. Uh, did India uh, indicate any specific time of return? No yet, only on the 30th. After the 30th when the coach returns, we will know once we sit down with him. On the 19th of June today, we have already met uh, and we discussed a number of things and pertaining to the, especially the needs of the athletes and the coaches. And the decisions were made, uh, made as such to ensure that the needs of the athletes come before the wants of the athletes, to ensure that we are able to provide the athletes a performance-based support uh, to ensure their qualification and their performance in all the competitions. We also reviewed uh, the performance of the athletes to retain or to remove from the system. I would like to inform you that uh, Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing uh, will be retained for now to ensure that their performance is supported and will be re-evaluated in September. Uh, also, BAM has supported and proposed the inclusions of Ng Ziyong and Chan Tang Jia and To Iwei to be part of the Road to Gold program. And this will ensure that we are able to establish uh, the Bumi Forward Plan with these athletes. There is a change of the criteria. The review of the athletes' criteria of the World Top 10 has now been changed to the, based on technical recommendations for the points establishment of the Road to Paris ranking for badminton. This will ensure the inclusion of these athletes are taken into consideration as well. Today, the committee also decided to include hockey uh, into the existing program and in the existing program hockey will receive the support necessary towards the Asian Games where the qualification is very important and as such in the press release you will see the number of support services already provided to hockey On Dato Azizul Hasni, first pl please allow me to congratulate him on his fine performance in the Asian Championship He is a shining light for us and we hope that we can provide as much support to him as possible the RTG committee today reviewed his request and all items requested by Dato Azizol has been approved and it was, and we will ensure seamless support and communication with him and his coaching team. On this matter, I would like to also highlight that RTG is not here only to remove roadblocks for the athletes but also to provide support systems to MSN's current structures and areas that constrain them within the policies of MSN. Uh, 